Hi everyone, today I will be changing the oil on the Hilmer vacuum pump and um, I changed oil before this summer and I already done um, it's hard to say but around 10 to 15 uh, jobs using this pump the oil doesn't look too bad from what I can see uh, it's clear but still uh, yeah, it's recommended changing every so often so uh, we're gonna do that but before uh, since this pump has a uh, few jobs on it I want to compare uh, if it's gonna pull the same vacuum on an old oil versus when I'm gonna refill it with brand new and uh, we'll pull the vacuum on a new oil and we'll see if there's any difference so what I have here is a vacuum pump oil by new Calgon I'm gonna leave the Amazon link for this guy um, and here's the micron gauge that I'm gonna be using it's a test of 552 so let's get this connected to the power and uh, let's start pulling the vacuum all right so I've connected the micron gauge this port is capped this is connected to the quarter inch port uh, the valve is open I have plugged it in to the outlet and let's start pulling and see where we can get on an old oil. So uh, what I'm thinking, I don't know if that's the oil or that's just the micron gauge or the hose. There might be potential leakage on the hose here. So I'm going to get different setup. Uh, I'll show you uh, what I'm going to use so we can get more accurate reading. All right. So eventually uh, we're going to go with a uh, desktop probe micron gauge connected directly to the pump. and. We'll start in it now. What I think is that uh, it takes it takes so long to get to the let's say 25 microns. Uh, there's no hoses. There's nothing. There's just micron gauge directly attached to the pump. I think it should go really quick to that uh, to that set point. Uh, so let me change this oil and we'll retest it because I think the problem is in the oil. All right, let's start draining it.
Okay, so you're gonna unscrew the top. Uh, this pump takes uh, 11 ounces of oil, but I'm just gonna go to the middle of the scale here. should be enough Let's wipe this off all right so now we're gonna retest it again connected micron gauge here and let's start pumping and see look at the difference now and I was kind of skeptical about the oil that oil can make such a difference. Look at that. On the pump, it says that uh, uh, it should reach 25 micron. Yeah, and look what the new oil does to the system. Still not ideal, I'd say, or we can we have to wait a little longer. Um, maybe if I uh, run the pump for a bit and then drain the oil again and put a new one. Uh, that would reach the 25 micron uh, maybe there is still some of old residue or oil left in the pump that's causing this but hey uh, 50 48 microns it's much better than uh, was it 600 or 700 that I was stuck at and couldn't go lower on the old oil so I'll accept that and I know this pump uh, is not new so this pump's been uh, in the use for about two to three years now. So I'm not impressed that it, it's not going to reach uh, 25. But yeah, we see the difference it makes. So change your oil, guys. Uh, I know Hillmore uh, recommends using their oil. And I'm not sure if it's them but I saw somewhere um, where they tell you to change oil after each uh, vacuum. Uh, I don't think that's good for my wallet, <laughs> but yeah, I, I would say every five to 10 jobs, uh, we should be changing the oil in the pump. Oh yeah, as you can see, it's stuck at 47. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get any lower uh, to about 25. But that's still pretty good. So yeah, guys, you see how uh, it changed. It changed dramatically. So uh, 
that that oil change helped a lot and it's gonna help me pulling the, the better vacuum on the systems uh, let me know in the comments uh, how often you change oil what pumps what brand pumps you using and like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Oh,